In this video we're going to show you um, what a company profile looks like and all the different information that is available on each company in our database. So it doesn't matter if we use perform a search or build a list because when you pull up a company profile it's going to look the same regardless of which function you're using within Easy Select. And again perform a search is really to research individual companies whereas build a list is uh, what allows you to input a set of criteria and get a list of prospects back. So we're going to go into build a list and I'm not going to select any criteria. I am working with our demo database which currently has just over 300 companies in it. Um, so when I click on the count or I click on my list, either one of those takes me to the results pane. And from here you'll see the, the 328 companies that are in the demo database uh, at the time of recording this. And what I specifically want to show you is that when you click on a company name, it will bring up the company's full profile. And from here there's a number of different things that we can do. First of all, uh, right up at the top we'll point out that um, we list the company's contact information. Uh, website and email address are hyperlinked so you can click on that to bring up their website or, cl or click on that to compose a new email. Um, we give you all the different information on the company that we have available. Uh, their number of employees, annual sales, square footage, year established, their distribution areas, uh, type of ownership, whether or not they import raw materials, their ISO ratings if any. Um, below that all the product and service information uh, for this particular company. So we give you our business description which is compiled by our in-house editors. Um, business classification, this is our own internal classification code. We've put them under baking ingredients in this case. Um, any brand names that they have that are unique to their company. And also um, SIC codes and NAICS codes for this particular company and uh, we give you the primary and additional for the SAC and at the present time we're only um, holding one NAICS code for each company. If you continue to scroll down you'll see the executives at this location and it gives you the name and their title as well as the function that they're in and uh, they are ranked um, based on um, the executive rank within the company so you'll usually notice the top ranking person at that facility up at the top. Um, additional company information whether they have a DBA or an AKA in this case they do and then if they have a parent company this will uh, show you the basic information about the parent company the company's name address phone number as well as the name and title of each executive at the parent company now if we wanted to view the full profile of the parent we would click on this arrow which will go ahead and load it now since we're working with our demo database, odds are this, is, this company is not going to be included with our subscription. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And sure enough, this just indicates that this is not included with the subscription. So if you were working with a live database and you wanted to access parent information, you'd have to make sure that you're subscribing to the appropriate database that contains the parent company within it. Otherwise, you're going to receive an error message like this. But we do give you enough basic information here to um, get to know the parent company. Uh, My Notes is a feature where you can append notes to any company profile and uh, what's interesting about it, I'm going to go ahead and type in a quick note here. What's interesting about this is that you can choose whether you want to make this note private, which means only you can see it, or if you want to make it public. And public means that if you're sharing your Easy Select subscription with any other employees or staff members at your company, that they'll see that note as well. It's not public to the, to the entire world, only to uh, individuals with whom you're sharing this subscription. So if you are on a sales team or you work with a, a group of individuals at your company, if you make the note public, anything that you append to this company, they will, will see as well. And when you're done, go ahead and click Add. And it just goes ahead and adds in that particular um, note to that company. I want to scroll back up to the top here and show you a couple other features. Um, when you see this icon, it means that that there are uh, other companies that are related to this particular company. So we call it the Family Tree View. And when I click on this, you'll see now um, here's the parent that we were looking at, but there's also other children below that parent. And so this is a graphical representation of the family tree structure for this particular company. And just as I was pointing out before, you can click to view any of these profiles, but if they're outside of your subscription, which we know this one is, it's going to return back an error. Um, so again, if you want to be able to access those company profiles, you'll have to expand your database subscription to make sure that it includes them. Um, but that's a really powerful feature if you're doing prospecting. Um, just to click on it again real quick here, uh, if you were actually prospecting to this company, rather than contacting these four companies individually, in this case, 
you know you can go directly to the parent and potentially have access to all four of their locations, five if you include the parent location itself. So this is a great time saver if you're doing sales or marketing to really get directly to the decision maker. Um, off to the right you'll notice some functions here. If I click on this link it exports the profile to your address book. So if you're using Outlook or other similar email program this will create a contact record directly within your address book with this information. I can export this profile to a PDF if I just want to save a copy of this individual profile. I can print this specific profile so if I just want to run a printout of this profile. I can email myself a copy of this profile and again that's um, if I want to reference it for a later date I can click on that icon and have a copy of it sent to my email. And then we also let you uh, report missing or outdated data. If for some reason you called up this particular company and um, let's say for example an executive that we have listed is no longer at the company. Um, this is a quick way you can report that error back to us. Obviously it's, it's not a mandatory feature but it is um, a nice little feature in the sense that if everybody does it uh, it'll help us even further stay on top of uh, changes that happen on a very rapid basis to the companies in our database. And then lastly, you can save this company profile for a later time and, and we'll show you in another video how to access all the companies you've saved, but this will allow you to uh, save this particular profile. And then I also want to show you down here you can do the same thing with the executives. You can save individual executives and there's a, a separate feature or Rolodex that allows you to access all the executives you've saved. And again here you can export um, this company profile but with this specific executives name in the uh, address book record. So um, if I want to you know, put Jeff Watson in my address book I can go ahead and click on that and it'll download all the company profile information with Jeff's name in it that'll go directly into my address book. And then the last function we want to show you here is the integrated map and driving directions. Um, this is powered by Google Maps so you're probably already familiar with how it works. You know you can zoom in or out um, you can go to a, switch to a satellite view. If you want to actually take a look at what this particular plant looks like from the top, we can see um, there's the company. Uh, and then the other feature we can do is uh, driving directions. By default, this populates in the address that you have in your um, profile information with an easy select, but you can type over it if you're starting at a different uh, uh, at a different place but when you go ahead and click on go you'll notice it pops up another window and this loads Google Maps with driving directions directly from the address that you've specified to this company's address so um, in my particular case I've chosen a company in Memphis and we're in Chicagoland so um, looks like a nine nine and some hour drive um, down to this particular facility but this does give you full driving directions so it's kind of a neat feature if you're going to be visiting a company uh, out on site and want to have access to this information in advance. So those are really the primary uh, features within the company profile. Uh, there's other information that can appear in here if we have it available. Um, one such example is news articles so I've toggled to the next company here and you'll see that uh, ABB Inc. has um, some related news articles and you can click on that and it'll load the actual news article um, directly from the source, so in this case from Business Journal. Um, so if you want to stay up to date with uh, information on that particular company, we do put those press releases and, and news releases in there as we find them. Um, and also later on when we show you the advanced features of saving a company profile, um, when news appears, news and, and press releases, it'll automatically appear in a feed that you'll have. And, and again, we'll go into that greater detail uh, in a later video. But these are the primary functions of the profile. And again, regardless of where you access this profile, whether it's through perform a search or through build a list, the functions are, are, um, are going to be identical. This is the same screen that you're going to see. Um, Here's another example of a family tree and you'll see this one actually goes three layers deep. Um, so the company that we're on not only has a parent but it also has a, a child um, beneath it. So uh, again a really neat feature that lets you take a look into the makeup of the company. So.